So hi friends, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Information and Educational Video. So in this video, I will talk about J.E. Mains 2021 yes, cut-off, uh, category-wise cut-off uh, to qualify for the J.E. Advance exam and also I will talk about the marks versus percentile for the next two attempts. As you all know, there is literally no gap between the third and fourth attempt. So you can take this video or uh, you can expect the same marks versus percentile will be applicable for the last attempt also that is the third and fourth attempt. So by watching this video, you can uh, you will able to know what is the safer score. So you can go to my channel playlist that is uh, an IT cutoff. There is a playlist so you can watch all type of cutoff video there. But as you all know, the board exam has been cancelled uh, this year, almost all state, and uh, including CBSC and CISC. So that will have the impact on marks versus percentile, and more importantly, the percentile versus rank. That is the category uh, rank. That video I have already uploaded, but I will try to upload that video again with updated number of students so that you can get my more accurate percentile versus rank. That is the category rank. That is general EWS, OBC, SC, ST rank for a particular a particular percentile. What will be your category rank? So stay tuned for that video also and. If you are first to my channel, please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get all the video related to J means and other entrance exam, other counseling also. also. So please try to subscribe. It's my humble request and please try to share this video to your friends. And I am making this video by considering all those factors that number of a student have increased and the difficulty of the paper might increase and the preparation of the student also increases. So Let's start the video. So here is the expected but cut of marks and percentile that you need to score at least to be eligible for the JE advance exam. So for general, you need to score at least 91 to 92 percentile earlier it was 90 to 91 but now 91 to 92 because the number of a student that is number of unique student will increase due to the cancellation of the board exams and for that percentile you need to score 112 to 118 no marks matter. percentile will remain same marks might differ might vary somehow that is it might be 110 also if the paper is difficult but if it is easy then you can expect 115 also so th that will be the cutoff marks to be eligible for the J advanced examination and for OBC the cutoff percentile will be 73 to 75 and for that you need to score 85 to 90 marks in the third and fourth attempt of the J examination and for AWS your cutoff percentile will be 72 to 74 percentile and for that you need to score at least what 83 to 87 uh, due to the increment of the unique the, student the student who will suffer the most is the lower lower marks student who will score 120 marks or 100 marks or 80 marks because the student uh, who have now registered uh, first time for the JE mains exam they can get 80 marks 100 marks uh, hardly 150 marks but they can't get 200 or 200 plus marks with the preparation of one or two months because they were initially preparing for board but uh, due to the cancellation of the exam they are now uh, preparing for the J, J mains exam there will be more competition in lower marks rather than the higher marks those students who are targeting 200 plus they don't uh, need to bother about those the things students who are targeting 75 80 90 or 95 percentile they will have the more competition now due to the increment of the unique student so for SCS student the percentile cutoff will be 52 to 55 and you need to uh, score 67 to 70 marks for that and for ST, uh, 42 to 45 percentile will be required and uh, you need to score 58 to 62 marks. So this is the uh, information regarding the expected cutoff that you need to score at least to be eligible for the J advanced examination. So, so now I will talk about the marks versus percentile expected uh -huh. for the uh, third and fourth attempt of the J examination. It is the last two. Attempts. So here is the percentile versus marks for 99.9 .9 to 100 percentile. You have to score at least 260 to 275 marks depending on the difficulty of the paper it might vary 10 or 5 marks if the paper is so hard you can expect you can get 99.9 .9 at 255 or 250 also but i am considering the paper easy to moderate so don't be confused i am considering the paper easy to moderate but is uh, but uh, if in your shift it is hard then uh, you might get the better percentile in lower uh, lower marks also so for 99.8 to 99.9 .9 percentile you need to score at least 250 to 260 marks and for 99.6 to 99.8 percentile you have to uh, score 240 to 250 marks to get those percentile and for 99.4 to 99.6 you have to score 225 to 240 marks and uh, for 99 to 99.4 you uh, your marks would be 210 to 225 so once again i would like to repeat i will make next video on percentile versus category rank that is updated due to the number of uh, unique student increment uh, this year so I, I i will i will provide you the updated video that is the percentile versus category rank in which you will know the corresponding category rank based on a particular percentile that is obc rank sc rank st rank yeah, so stay tuned for that video 
video i will upload in this that. video i am considering the paper to be easy to moderate and also the student preparation is go uh, has gone to next level because of the time they have got due to the uh, due to the postponement of the exam 8.5 to 99 percentile you need to uh, score 195 to 210 marks and for 98 to 98.5 you need to score 185 to 195 marks and for 97.5 to 98 your marks would be 175 to 185 and for 97 to 97.5 your marks range would be 170 to 175 because in these marks range many student will lie so there is a very less gap between the marks range and for 96 to 97 your marks should be 150 to 170 so for 95 to 96 percentile you need to score at least 135 to 150 marks and uh, for 93 to 95 120 to 135 marks and once again I, I, I would like to inform you that I am considering the paper to be easy to moderate if it is hard then you can get those percentile at lesser rank also that is 10 marks less or 5 marks less also so for 90 to 93 your marks should be uh, 110 to 120 and for 85 to 90 percentile your marks should be 100 and 110 and uh, for 80 to 85 your marks should be 95 to 100 and for 75 to 80 percentile your marks should be 90 to 95 and for 70 to 75 percentile your marks should be 85 to 90 and for 60 to 70 percentile your marks should be 75 to 85 and for 50 to 60 percentile your marks so this is all about this video here i have talked about the expected marks or percentile that you need to score in the last two attempt for uh, to be eligible for the j advanced examination and also the marks versus percentile that is expected for the next two attempt so next i will upload the video that is percentile versus your category rank that will be updated because of the increment of the unique number of a student so uh, that data will change so i will i will consider those data and try to provide you that video very soon so please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get all the update about j mains and other entrance exam other counseling also so please try to subscribe it's my humble request and share my video to your friends so that they can also get this information thanks